The Texas Children's Microbiome Center is located within Texas Children's Hospital, one of the largest and uh, elite uh, children's hospitals in the United States. We uh, impact the lives of roughly 9,000 patients per day in this hospital. Our uh, central mission is to acquire a deep understanding of how human microbes work together with man as partners in human development and disease. We now understand that uh, children are being exposed to a microbiome even before they're born. And during infancy and childhood, the microbiome is changing and developing in terms of composition and function. We are actively pursuing new discoveries in human microbiome research and uh, how we can use these discoveries then to develop new diagnostic and therapeutic approaches in medicine, including gastroenterology, and finally, to refine or develop new delivery models for healthcare. The Texas Children's Microbiome Center is an active partnership with the Pediatric Gastroenterology Service at Texas Children's Hospital, and our pediatric gastroenterology team is actively involved in applying fecal transplants to the treatment of pediatric patients with Clostridium difficile infection and ulcerative colitis. Fecal microbiota or microbiome transplantation is a, is a complicated term for a simple procedure of transferring stool from a healthy individual to someone with a disease for the intention to treat. The efficacy is up to 90% with one treatment and with two treatments it is up to 95% uh, efficacy. In August of 2012, I, I came in contact with Dr. Kellmeyer and he said he had a new trial study. The goal of it was to ultimately cure me and get me off immunosuppressant drugs. Before, my disease was uh, very volatile. It, I, had, I experienced a lot of blood and it was just, it was very painful at that point. But then uh, after going through the trial study, I have I have all this no blood. It did get me off the, the medications. It's helped improve my life. It's changed the pattern of the disease. It definitely is a much better alternative than the other drugs that I was on. One area of the Texas Children's Microbiome Center relates to metabolism and endocrinology with an emphasis on diabetes research uh, and how the human microbiome impacts body metabolism and human biochemistry. There's a lot of data with regards to the the relationship between the gut microbiome and obesity, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes. And there's also been therapeutic strategies um, designed to actually affect the uh, gut-host relationship. And so uh, what we um, think is that the biomarkers that we are able to define in terms of thera therapeutic uh, strategies will be very important in, the, in, in terms of obesity and diabetes. We are actively engaged in trying to understand the changes in the different uh, chemical compounds and metabolites that are produced by the microbiome. And in this area of metabolomics, we're also very interested in how that, those changes in metabolites impact Clostridium difficile infection. There have been several new advances in uh, systems biology that are really helping us to identify uh, candidate uh, biomarkers. Uh, these include uh, new generation uh, DNA uh, pyrosequencing, metabolomics, uh, unbiased proteomics. And by combining these all into uh, microbial uh, ecosystem networks, this has really allowed us to view these complex data sets in a way that allows us to pull out and tease out uh, potential biomarkers that stand out. In the Texas Children's Microbiome Center, we have a next generation DNA sequencing team involved in data generation and generating the DNA and RNA sequencing data from the microbiome to understand the genes and the pathways that are present and how we might apply that to diagnosis and treatment. The next generation sequencing has really allowed us to look at every single bacteria that's present in a given sample type, like sputum or stool. And in that, it's allowed us to move beyond what can be cultured in the laboratory and really give us a bigger overall picture of what shifts are happening, allowing us not only to identify disease that's happening right now, but also allowing us predictive criteria for disease that may be developing. Bioinformatics is a major endeavor within the Texas Children's Microbiome Center, bringing together 
DNA sequencing data, the metagenomics, along with the metabolomics and proteomics, the multiomics data analysis is a uh, major uh, function and effort within the cell. Using DNA sequence information, we can link microbial community structure to patient variables, either disease, illness, health, or other, other factors and gain more information about um, what's going on in our patients. Really driving towards a future in which we know that by paying attention to our microbes living within and on our bodies, that we can hopefully by, by paying attention to them, think about ways in which we may be able to prevent disease additionally we can step in and try to treat disease in entirely new ways. And our efforts ultimately will be about making the microbiome a better partner in those patients with different GI and other metabolic diseases.